What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. I know it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. I've been pretty busy with with school and work. So I am at Crumb Creek outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we're going to be targeting carp today. It's a little after 8 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to be fishing for a few hours before it gets terribly hot today. It's actually going to be a high of 94. So I figure it might be a good good chance just to get out in the early morning before it gets too crazy hot out. So we're going to be targeting carp using corn. We're in very shallow water, about three feet of water here. So we're going to see if we can try to get, we're going to see if we can try to get one guys. So, um, so stay tuned. I can show you, you know, they're near the surface of the water. four carp here and they're all pretty decent sized too for a creek that is now when you're fishing in creeks you know average size is going to be around anywhere between five and ten pounds so you have to keep that in mind so when i say decent size these are for this is for creeks so we could settle here. May not be a bad idea. Just cast this right there. Someone left a nice little lure here. Look at that, guys. It's pretty cool. Things you find when you don't stay at home. It's always nice to get free stuff. A good way to really find carp in creeks is that it really helps if you can spot them. Especially if you're in shallow creeks, you can really almost just spot them. Okay. Relatively easy. And that's what I do when I fish these creeks for the most part. You know, I try to spot them and I can I usually can find them you know because it's so shallow it really just makes it easy all right we got a carp on Well, it's a decent one. It really is. Oh. It really looks he's stuck around this tree branch here. Alright. Have to try to get access to my net.
Wow, that's a good one. You could probably go close to 10. Come here, little fella. Over here. Let them run, that's important. Just let them run. Got him. All right, guys, look at that. 10 pound common carp. First one of the day using whole kernel corn. We're going to go ahead and release him. Looks like he's hurt the top of his fin there with some rocks. There he goes. All right. So we're going to move down to another area where I know carp will be. So here's another area where carp will also be. Another little landing zone here. Really shallow here, actually more shallow than where we were. So. Uh, try to get it near those debris over there. It's going to be a tricky, a little tricky. But that should be good enough right there. Fish on. You know what? This is actually a uh, a little bass. No, it's a catfish. Ah, a little catfish. This is a um, a little brown bullhead. So this is actually my first brown bullhead that I've that I've caught here. So I'm actually pretty stoked about that, guys. So. This is your little catfish here. Let me unhook him first. And just want to show you that you can tell it's a brown bullhead because you can look at the uh, um, the 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 tail is square. If it was a channel, it would be forked. So this is definitely a bullhead catfish. It actually might be a yellow bullhead. I'm pretty sure it's a brown brown bullhead. Brown bullheads can also. Um, have some yellow in there. Thanks for watching guys. This is it for today. It is super hot so I have to call it quits since it is in the mid 90s and the bite has substantially really slowed down. I was really hoping to get another carp um, but we did manage one nice size 10 pound carp and I also caught my first brown bullhead catfish from this creek. I have seen one before in this creek, so I'm glad that they're still here and was really fortunate to really catch one. So give a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. I appreciate you watching my video. Take care.